Hey Sagittarius, happy, happy new year. This is going to be your January 2019 general reading. And it's going to be for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So go ahead in the comment section, comment your birthday, represent the Sagittarius gang, and see if you can find your birthday twin, okay? And also if you want to stay up to date with anything that I'm doing on YouTube or any um, new moon, full moon readings, you can follow my Instagram. And I do offer private personal readings, so there is a link down in the description. It will take you to my website, and there you can purchase a reading. I am still also doing 2019 forecasts, so if you want to see a full preview of what 2019 is going to look like for you, you can purchase that on my website. All right, Saji, so now we're going to shuffle the cards. I'm going to fast forward that part to keep the video short, and we'll come back and do the reading together. All right, Sagittarius, so let's get into it. The first card you have is the Nine of Swords. Okay, next card is the Five of Wands. So you guys are, it seems like you guys are stressing about some sort of fight or conflict that you're having right now, or could be having um, in the month of January. And then you have the Eight of Wands in reverse. So things are not progressing. There's something that you're battling here that is not moving forward in a positive way. Then you have the moon card here in reverse. Next is the eight of cups. You have the seven of pentacles here. So you're waiting for improvement. So you're waiting for something to develop. You have the king of swords. You have the knight of cups. Let me try to get this all in frame for you. Okay. And then, ooh, overall outcome, you have the tower. All right, so major shakeup happening here, Sagittarius. At the bottom of your deck, you have the hanged man in reverse. So there is a lot of worry and stress happening here in the month of January. Um, it could be all caused by someone. This could be a water sign person, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then you have the tower here, which is also representative of Scorpio. I feel like you're stressed. You're tired of fighting with someone. There's someone in your environment here. Water sign, I'm getting strongly, or they could have water in their element, I mean, or their chart. But you, I feel like you don't want to walk away from this person. You're still very hopeful that things can improve, but I feel like they're not improving. It's almost an energy of like feeling like things are going backwards instead of moving forward. All right, and you have this new moon card or the, the moon card here, which could be saying that something significant is going to be happening around the new moon, full moon time. But there will be some sort of major fallout or shock towards the end of the month. So let's get right into it because the energy seems a little heavy for Sagi. You guys usually have very upbeat, great readings, but I feel as if you're not able to think clearly or able to make a decision because you seem very conflicted right now okay so the overall theme is the nine of swords why is the nine of swords here is the overall theme for Sagittarius the death card so you guys some of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio you have strong you have three cards here already representing Scorpio um some of you are stressing because you don't want something to come to an end. But see, this is what happens when we try to delay, you know, or try to hold on to things that we're not meant to hold on to. It kind of just all comes crashing down. So I feel like you're stressing about an ending. You don't want to leave something behind or you don't want someone to leave you. But you're stressing about change here that's happening. There is a major change that is happening in your life in the month of January. This could have been happening throughout December or even throughout the year. The Three of Pentacles here and then the Queen of Wands. So there could be someone, you know, the Queen of Wands could be represent representative of you. I feel like you really want to work something out or fix something. But there's a lot of stress here because it's not progressing it's not changing and I feel like you've been holding on to this situation for too long or maybe this person for too long 
and you're stressed because you're not able to build or fix or work with this person or to rebuild something. The challenge is the five. Why is the five of wands a challenge for Sagittarius? Why is the five of wands a challenge? The six of cups. So this is fighting with someone from the past, someone you have history with. Fighting about, you know, old emotions or things that are resurfacing from the past as well. I feel like you guys are fighting a lot about the past. There's something here about like the past or going backwards or things that happened in the past. A lot of imbalance. And also could be sneakiness here with the Seven of Swords, but... It's coming to a head now, and I feel like there's going to be a major blow up towards the end of the month, or the situation is going to resolve itself by by crashing down. Um, something we'll find out what, but something major is going to happen that is going to ch transform this energy for you because I feel like you are waiting too long for something to improve, and it's just causing you more stress, more anxiety, and you know. You're feeling anxious in, on both ways. Staying in the situation makes you anxious and thinking about leaving the situation also makes you anxious. So it's like one of those situations where it's a lose-lose. If you stay, you're unhappy. If you leave, you're unhappy. So universe will usually come in and bring a tower moment like this to kind of say, okay, you can't stay stuck like this for too long, hoping for things to improve or not seeing clearly or making you know swift decisions. So if you're not going to make a decision then universe will kind of come in and shake up shake up the energy for you let's see why the moon is here you have the moon card in reverse and this is representing the near future so how this energy is going to play out in the near future or progress what is the moon in reverse representing what is the moon in reverse representing the magician transformation change manipulation as well There's some like energy manifesting here with the new, with the moon. Okay, so this clears it up for me with the page of swords. So there was a lot of things you were unclear of. I feel like there was a lot of tricking, manipulation here done by someone. They weren't being very honest with you or you weren't getting a lot of information from this person. You could also be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But... I feel like a lot of lies are going to be revealed or a lot of trickery is going to be revealed. You have the seven of swords here. So come around the new moon or full moon time. A lot of things that you were in the dark about is going to come to light. Let's see this energy in your environment, which is the knight of cups. What is this knight of cups representing? The wheel of fortune. So that's that unpredictable energy, the Emperor, Aries energy here. So two major arcanas already. The Knight of Swords in reverse. And the Hanged Man. You had the Hanged Man in the bottom of your deck here. Oh wow, look at all the repeating cards. The Hanged Man and you have the Three of Pentacles here again, which were both in your reading, Hanged Man. Three of Pentacles. So, again, there's this energy of someone who's very controlling, very... I feel like this person, like I said, is emotionally manipulative because they're very unpredictable. Like, one minute, they can be very sweet and very kind and, and you know, romantic. And the next minute, they can be very controlling, very, you know, sharp with their words, very combative. And... This person is stubborn. They're not willing to change. So now let's see why the tower is here. Because the tower is, is big energy. The tower is always major shocking change. So why is the tower here? What is the tower representing for Sagittarius in the month of January? The Eight of Pentacles. So something that you were building or working on is going to come crashing. Okay. It's going to come crashing down. Again, that water energy wanted to come up. So it definitely could be with a water sign, Scorpio, very specifically. 
Yeah, you see, this is going to come to an end here. If you are holding on to someone, water sign could be a Pisces too. You're going to start to see, there goes the three of wands in reverse. You're going to start to see that there's no future. There's no moving forward here with this person, okay, that you've kind of been waiting in vain, some of you, for uh, this person to change or you've been holding on for something for too long and it's causing too much stress and anxiety for you and universe is not going to allow you to carry this with you in the month of January or not allow you to carry this into the new year for you because I feel like there's better things awaiting you. There's better things to come and you're not seeing it. You're not seeing clearly right now because you're so preoccupied, you know, with the past and fighting and, and confusion and not letting something end or trying to fix something that you've put a lot of effort into. So let's see what universe wants you to know. Okay. This is going to be from the wisdom of the golden path. So this is an Oracle deck and this is going to be the message. For Sagittarius is for the month of January. What does the universe want Sagis to know in the month of January? What's something important that Sagittarius needs to know in the month of January? Okay, so hopefully this will help give you some sort of clearance. Ooh, positive future. I like that. You see, I was saying that, you know, this is this is crashing for a reason. There's something more positive coming your way. Something that's coming your way. I feel like you can feel it subconsciously but you're just not able to make a clear decision or to see clearly. So universe is going to come in and, and kind of knock out anything that you were supposed to let go a while ago. So you have a positive future awaiting you. So this is why this is all happening because it's space clearing. It's making way for something new. Okay. So let's read positive future. It says, your present situation is determined by your past actions. To change your future requires you to make different decisions today. Live life as though every moment is a miracle. And remember that if one door closes, another opens. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Follow your heart and intuition and know that everything in your life unfolds at the best possible time and the most beneficial way. Everything around you is made up of energy. So if you want to attract positive things into your life, start by giving off some positive energy. Remember that everything is first created in the mind. Have a vision of what it is you would like to create. Set clear goals for all you would like to accomplish. For in doing this, you will achieve more in a shorter period of time. A goal is a dream with a deadline. So you do have a positive future awaiting you. Don't get discouraged. Whatever is meant to fall out of your life, let that happen because there's more for you in the future. There's better things waiting you in the future. You have the wheel of fortune here in your immediate environment, which is saying that the wheel is going to be turning in a positive direction for you once you have cleared and put an end to anything that does not belong in your future. Okay. So Sagis, that's going to be your reading for the month of January. I hope that you guys have a great one and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.